It's Andre Salz with Mix 107.9, and we are at the 59th Grammy Awards, brought to you by Honda Marysville with us. Uh, great guy, great performer. Thank you. Great interviewer, great bar owner. I mean, we can go on and on and on. Mr. Gavin Man, DeGraw. what's this guy going to show up? Who right. is he? <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet this guy. <laughs> What's good, oh, man? Right. Good to see you, Andre. You too, you too. Thank happy, you for the nice uh, words. happy 2017. Thank you, know? you man. Thank how's you, it? Man. How's it been so far? Been this great. Year? So far, so good. Just getting started, and uh, the start is good. Yeah. You know, no, no real bad news yet. So, well, which is always a good thing, yeah. right? And yeah, hopefully, no there bad won't news yet. We hopefully will avoid all bad news for 2017. You know, but every time that we talk to you, I don't ever seem like there's bad news with Gavin McGraw, just because of how positive and happy <laughs> and excited you are. Thank you. You man. know, so Thank if there you. is, you mask it pretty well. I have a good, uh, <laughs> I have a good job. So, you do. You do. You have a great you know, job. I have a really great job, so that helps me. Yeah, you know, I get to do what I love to do for a living, and uh, I I would do it anyway. Yeah, you know. Well, the the tour this past summer, you and and Andy Grammer, yes. um, my wife who's here with me, we we. You know, Wait, that's your wife? That's my wife. Come on yeah. now. See, hey, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah right. It's great. I know he was trying to get you her number earlier. No, family over here. <laughs> I, I put her to I'm work. Still going to call these. you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> she, she could get a hall pass every once all in a right, while, naturally, right? Yeah. yeah, we all need a hall pass. <laughs> but the tour was amazing. I mean, right the, the two you, of you Thanks, on that stage just owned that stage that and very the much, crowd, man. man. It was great. Thank you for that, man. Well, Andy is a great entertainer and a great songwriter and performer. Former, a great man. He's a great guy, man. Yeah. Um, and so is his whole crew and, and, and band and staff. I mean, it really, you know, when you're out touring with somebody, it's important that you like them. Yep. You know, and that you get along backstage. And so I always felt like he was a nice person. And uh, it just makes your job that much more enjoyable, you know. Any pranks that That's happen simple. backstage? Not really, I because he, he could be a pranker. He's at a times. funny person. Right. But, you know, we, we had a couple of things, um, accidental pranks stuff like we you know i'd have to go backstage because he and i had similar tastes in shoes and things okay. like that you know yeah. he and i are similar yeah in in a lot of ways and so i remember i'd go backstage and be like hey man what color sneakers are you wearing tonight <laughs> and he'd be like oh man i'm wearing uh i'm wearing red sneakers i was like oh man okay good because i was about to wear red sneakers tonight and i just want to make sure <laughs> that you're not going to wear also red sneakers yeah you know so it was one of those weird things where we had to double check with each right. other on certain things yeah because you know we like the same clothes you know we like you know we got similar friends yeah we like the same instruments same kinds of songs <laughs> we have similar tastes right you right. know yeah so we had to make sure those things didn't happen otherwise it kind of looked like we were <laughs> The same guy going right. out on stage, like, hey, have you heard this one? Just here? And I'm out there doing, like, fine by me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and he's playing I Don't Want to Be. That would have been, been great. Yeah. You come out, start doing his songs, and he starts doing your exactly. songs. That would have been great. For exactly. <laughs> so so it happened that to be that we were the, almost like accidental pranks. I think he accidentally, maybe unintentionally, pranked me another day because he had this thing called, I think it was called an Oculus. Okay. Which is this uh, this weird goggles thing. That you put on your head. And it looks like a giant pair of horrible looking ski goggles. Uh -huh. But inside of it is, you know, the latest and the greatest three dimensional technology. And he had me playing this game on his bus where, you know, you're in your own world with headphones on, you can't right. hear anything. Right. And you're jumping around. It makes you feel kind of like you're flying or like you have a jetpack <laughs> yeah. on. You're flying through some, you know, some theoretical, it, it, you sure. know, with, city yeah and 10 minutes later i had the absolute worst headache and motion sickness oh. and nausea and then i had to go on stage oh. and i was like thanks andy i really appreciate it man he's like have a great show you're like you're you the know? best yeah, yeah. yeah here you go <laughs> thanks for trying the oculus yeah. uh we're it's talking about uh, gavin mcgraw and his uh his new single making love with the radio on oh uh, yes now um, oh yes so do you really have the radio on no. doing the deed? Absolutely no. not. No. Absolutely not. Got to be quiet. Yeah. I mean, the radio is great for getting things in the mood. Sure. But once it begins, <laughs> once it begins, then all the focus and attention. On yes, that. Yep. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Because you're always afraid that, you know, they're going to cut the commercial and it's going to ruin the vibe. Right. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. You're like, oh, wait a second. What's it's going like on It's buzz here? killer right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what She's is like, this? Uh, Dude, depending upon the product, yeah. it could really ruin like, the vibe, you know? Uh, honey, we got to wait in like three minutes, and then yeah, we yeah. can start back up. <laughs> yeah, if it's a toothpaste commercial, it's not so bad. But there's other products, <laughs> right. you know, they might be talking about. You're like, this is not good right now, you know? Come on. They have to put that on the radio. Right. right. <laughs> right. Uh, Gavin, thank you so much yeah. for stopping by, man. It's always Thanks a pleasure to see you. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it, Andre. Thank you. Best of luck, and look forward to more stuff from you. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Appreciate the time.